But first, welcome, Grapple fans, to this Taylor Mining promotion here at the Civic Hall Radcliffe. A heavyweight bout first. This man, Steve Casey from Swinton, Lancashire, already in his corner. 19 stone four of him. The Dalbir Singh, the heavyweight champion of Great Britain, is his opponent here this afternoon. 17 stone two, giving away two stone plus for the first time on television, at least I think so. Six five minute rounds, two falls to the side. Gordon Pryor, our MC. Thank you. We commence today's tournament with a contest matched at international heavyweight to be contested over six rounds of five minutes each round. And your winner will be decided by two falls, two submissions, one knockout or one disqualification. Introducing on my left and in the red corner Mr. from Swinton, will you welcome please a real globe-trotting heavyweight star, Steve Casey. His opponent, on my right and in the blue corner, it's my pleasure to present to you the official British heavyweight champion, Tiger Dalabar Singh. Your referee for this contest from Hull, Mr. Jeff Kay. Right, a heavyweight contest then. Dalbir Singh from Punjab, India. The official heavyweight champion of Great Britain on the left there. Giving away quite a height, as you can see there, quite a bit of height. Steve Casey is the big man from Swinton, Lancashire. 19 stone four. Seconds away, round one. <laughs> Round one of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout. You decide this winner. In charge is Jeff Kay there from Hull, the referee, former welterweight wrestler of renown. A very fast welterweight he used to be, but uh, he's pretty quick at refereeing, too. He's been in trouble once or twice with the heavy boys, but very seldom do you see him in, in a, a sandwich there, the heavy fellas. Now, this big man from Swinton, Lancashire, who... Steve Casey, who trains at the B-Trim Health Studio in Swinton. Alan and Gallen Gary Rowlands, father and son, looking after that uh, health studio. Scissors now with uh, the British champion in charge of the scissors at the moment. Dalbir Singh has been over here in, living in Leeds since uh, the late 1960s. K first came over. Yes, out of trouble with a cartwheel. Two very powerful men here to kick off our afternoon session this Saturday. Everybody, of course, waiting for the tag match, which will be next on the bill. But the big one for me will be the Johnny Saint uh, match versus a new fellow, Carl McGrath. We haven't seen him on television before, but I understand he's a, a tremendous lightweight. That is later on this afternoon. There's going to be a lot of strength holes in this part. Unlock. Sing. bad for that quick get up there from the uh, from Steve Casey. Tremendous athletic fellow this fellow. There's an example of it. And over the top goes Singh. Out of the hold goes Casey. Couple of minutes to go, round one. 
Six five minute rounds. Two falls to decide this one. Double wrist lock, backhammer position to Casey. There it is. Switches to the plain backhammer to bring his man down. But he needs to turn him. And here he is trying it. One minute left. First round. Started with the front, finished with a side head chance, re follow up with the headlock and strangle by the British champion Dalbir Singh. Gil Singh, as we all call him in the wrestling business. It's Tiger, he's known as, all kinds of names he's got. But the headlock and strangle is holding at the moment, 15 seconds. On the bell now. And it's nice to see them both stand back in the other the bell. Steve Casey did then. Steve Casey, who's several years amateur, trained by Wild Angus, turned pro in 81. And he works out in this gym at uh, the Beatrim Health Studio in Swinton. Great golfer, this fellow, 10 handicap. Second away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go. No score. Two falls to the side. Champion Dalbir Singh of Punjab, India. Versus Steve Casey of Lancashire. down this early with a double finger in the lock. And he doesn't either. He should have gone with a the whip then. It could have hurt his shoulder drastically. Switch. Singh ready for it. Nice head mayor throw. Body check. Just using his extra weight now, but it got caught there on the shoulder check. Another posting. The foot came up nicely, and it's over the top. All the way. Drop. With Singh racing for the cross press. And he's got it. In just one minute, 30 seconds of round two, champion of Britain. Dalbir Singh gets the first fall. In the second round, the first fall of the contest to the blue corner, the British champion, Tiger Singh. He's still billed as Tiger, as you can hear that from Gordon Pryor, uh, Chesterfield MC. But a neat move, and it gets him the first fall with round three coming up. Seconds away, round three.
Golden Slam by Sainer. Casey had released, actually, so he shouldn't have been allowed to catch that leg there. He knew it and stepped back. Both men trying the four-hour weakness now. And again, the switch posting. We haven't seen an airplane spin in the ring for some time. Maybe this could be it. No, all the way back. Splash. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That could throw him. And a cross press to Casey. And he gets the equalizer in the following round. In the third round, the second and a superb equalizing fall to the red corner, Steve Casey. That's Gordon Pryor announcing that equalizing fall in round three. One each now, and three rounds to go. Seconds away, round four. Well, he came back very fast indeed, Casey, there. Very fast. Keeps himself really fit, of course. A lot of his free time is, uh, you'll find him around Swinton Park Golf Club with professional Jim Wilson. His ambition, incidentally, is to play on uh, Celebrity Golf. Well, we might see him on that one day. He's, fit, he's good enough. Oh, drop kick from a man on 19 stone four. Not often you see that. him over, cross press, and trouble for Stacy. Oh. Gets out of it at one. More uppercuts now. And double out. And it's Stacy that wins that little move. But I think he's going to run out of mat here as this man goes too near the ropes. Yes, the break will be called. Unlucky for Steve Casey there. Casey uh, played semi-professional soccer for Stockport County at one time, and then amateur rugby league before that for Lancashire Schoolboys. He's really quite a sportsman, this fella, but then he looks it, doesn't he? Now he's got the figure four that he really wanted. Now, side surfboard, if he can get his man up. He's got to lift 17 stone two here, backwards onto his knees. There it is. Now a backbreaker attempt from a side surfboard by Casey. And if he gets the submission he wants, it's curtains for the British champion. But it's a cross press to sink. Less than a couple of minutes left of the fourth. Still 1-4 each, full Nelson Singh. He's giving away a heck of a lot of height. He can hardly reach that. Standing on tiptoe to do it. And he's six foot one himself, saying. This boy, of course, Casey, six foot five. But the four Nelson is still there. Drop that back elbow. All part of the same move, perfectly legal. Only well, doesn't try it twice. Front head chow shoot with a couple of minutes left in this uh, fourth round. Even has time to change to the front headlock. Beautiful well. Stacey Casey had to go with that one. That's where 
Dobia Seng surprises all his opponents. He comes back so quickly and is in trouble. Again, the reverse side headlock ropes. One minute left, fourth. And a double figure in a lot. Single. Oh, a lovely dive by Casey. He's really good at that. Toe and ankle now. Sing in trouble again. Hold again, sink, pull it down, cross press, hasn't hooked the leg, and he doesn't, he fails because of it, but Casey has hooked the leg, and still Singh manages to get out of it. Just a couple of seconds left in the fourth, double arm by Singh on the back. Dalbia Singh, who when he first came over here in the late 60s, he spent four years as an amateur at the Leeds Athletic Institute and, and the famous Hilltop Amateur Wrestling Club in Bradford. And P. McCrow in the 70s, and he went out to South Africa and went all over the world, in fact, but South Africa was one of his favorite haunts. They loved him out there. Seconds away, round five. And Dalbia Singh has only just returned from India. Believe it or not, he was on holiday out in his home in Punjab, and the press finally was there to so give him all kinds of write ups. And the wrestling promoters had him in the ring twice during his holiday. Two runs to go, one fall each. The next score is the one that counts here. Swapping forearm uppercuts. Oh, check. Both saying for the same move and both landing rather badly for it. Eight, nine, both up at nine. And a butt to the stomach. And another uppercut, whipped uppercut for Casey. Oh! Nearly tripped, but he goes with the flying tackle, and the ref goes clean out and lands on the floor, face down, and trouble for Jeff Kay here, who seems to be lying very still indeed. And the bell goes. Dalbia Singh out there to see what's happened. And one minute, 20 seconds in the fifth round, and uh, we'll hear from the Can I MC. have the other referee down to the ring, please? Dave Reese down to the ring. Oh, that's unfortunate, that. He really went up hurt at it, uh, Jeff Kay. But we've got enough, another referee here this afternoon, the shape of uh, Dave Reese. Oh, that's really bad luck. He really went a complete perler through the ropes there. Two big men in the ring caught him instantaneously. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you all saw what happened. Dave Reese, the second referee on the program, states that referee Jeff Kay is in no condition to continue, and Dave Reese quite rightly refuses to take over the contest. And your referee Dave Reese will now call this a no contest, and a rematch will have to be arranged. Oh. We understand, gentlemen, it was. Wasn't your fault, Tiger Singh. It wasn't your fault, Steve Casey. It was just one um, of those things, and referee Davies called it a no contest. Well, that's it. Unfortunate finished. Let you know how Jeff K gets on. But right after the break, Grapple fans, it's tag team time. Don't forget to be back with us for Haystacks and Daily. We'll be right back.